Sunday morning when the windows in our house would fill with steam from Sunday gravy, which starts early in the morning, browning meatballs and browning sausage. Some people wake up to bacon and pancakes cooking, but I woke up to browning meat. <laughs> So I'm going to start in the pan with a little bit of butter, some olive oil, this is garlic and shallot, and I just added some chili flakes. I'm going to add my clams in, and all the liquid in the clams is going to release, and it's going to make a great, great little clam broth. And then right away I want to deglaze with a little bit of wine. So I'm going to turn the flame up, we want that to boil. I'm going to add the clam juice, tomato puree, and I'm going to add a little bit more butter, cracked black pepper. So I'm going to put the pasta in, give it a stir. So what happens is, if you don't get it a stir and get, get all the pasta coated with that boiling water, it likes to stick together. And my grandmother always told me, especially during the holidays, people and family stick together, not pasta. So I'm going to add the shrimp, I'm going to add herbs, I'm going to take the seafood out, the clams don't open, don't use them. That's not a happy clam. I'm going to add the pasta to the broth. We want the pasta to soak up that clam flavor. I'm going to add the pecorino romano. And we're going to serve the pasta. And don't forget, dip the bread into the juice. The juice is good. My brother Michael likes to, he likes to get the attention and sometimes my mother doesn't always approve and so he always used to sit to the right of her at the dinner table and that was, she had her rings on, on that finger so <laughs> before we sat down and if Mikey, Mikey was you know, feeling a little bit of uh, attention needy he would say mom take your rings off before we sat down. <laughs> the dough has risen and now we're ready to fry it and I basically just squeeze it, rip a piece off throw it into the fryer. And while they're in there, they're going to float up to the top of the oil. So I'm just going to move them around so that they get brown on both sides. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit them on this towel. Let them drain for just a little bit. I'm going to sprinkle them with the powdered sugar. And I like to serve these with some gooey Nutella. That tastes like Christmas on Queen Street. We'd all meet at someone's house on Christmas night. You know, we'd always get in trouble, you know. And someone would always get smacked, yeah. It'd either be my cousin Thomas, he got it one year. I'm sure I got it one year. My brother Michael got it every year. My brother Louie was kind of on the sly. He never really got caught doing anything. So that was also one of the reasons why I wanted to like, be like Louie, you know, don't get caught. <laughs> mm. I can't believe you made me do that.